you guys, if this looks familiar, it's sunny and I'm going to knock out a couple. It's not that I haven't done it before, but I usually will change my clothes so you don't really notice I'm doing it before, but it stopped raining and I feel compelled to shoot something because it's so beautiful. You can hear the birds singing. It just, you know, you don't appreciate your sunshine so much unless it's taken away from you. <laughs> so what are we doing today? A couple of weeks ago, I did a video on what to buy at the Beauty Lush gift card event. And I talked about Sicily lipsticks, which I love. And I swatched a couple for you. And then I thought, you know, maybe I should do a Sicily lip video because in the recent sales, I got some more things. So I have several lipsticks to show you, some lip twists, and some of these. I'm gonna start with these, I only have two. And I'm starting with these because these are the most sheer, the most effortless, and the ones that you can not look in the mirror and put on, I think. This is the color Nude. And that's it. It is almost like nothing on the skin. You can barely see where I swatched it right here. Just the teeniest hint of color, super, super easy and very, very comfortable. Now I'm not going to take that off because the next color has more color and this almost has none. This is number 11, Sheer Blossom, and it's right here. And it has a teeny bit of orange in it, but it depends on the way the light is hitting it. And this is what it looks like on the lips. I just think this is lovely. I got this for a very specific video, which I'm going to be shooting soon, recreating Nicole Kidman's makeup from the Oscars. I thought she looked stunning. I just gave away this video that I'm going to be trying to do. I don't know if I'm going to get the same effect that she got, but this was one of the lip colors they put on her. And this is Sheer Blossom. And this is Natural Light. I think you're getting a very good representation of what this color really is. Now I'm going on with a wipe. Now my lips will get a little bit more color as we continue. This is the Lip Twist in 24, and I bought this for a Try Not Michelle Wong's Favorites video. And this is what it looks like. So while this much more vibrant warm, I feel that this is a teeny bit warm. It just depends on what the light is. And see, when I look at the crayon itself, I feel that it looks rosewood. For me, this color is kind of like a Your Lips But Better, very similar to my own, but it does have a little bit of a coolness to it, a little bit of that rosewood. And here it is swatched. That's the Sheer Blossom, and this is the Nude. And these are the Phyto Shines. So Cicely actually had a sale recently and I got a couple of more. Again, kind of reason to do this video because online they look so different than they do in real life. So let's first do Peach. This is number three. Right there. Super, super pretty. Although it says Peach and it looks peach here, I think it's got a little bit of pinkiness to it. And I really like this. I like this happiness. And this is Blossom, which to me looks more peachy or orange in comparison to this one, which is called Peach in the Lip Twist. Now this is number eight, and they're calling this Candy. And it looks kind of similar, right? But when I put it on, it becomes quite pink. Which makes sense. I think that if peach has some pink in it, then this pink will pull out. So I'm thinking it's kind of the same, but I'm just remembering the pinkness in this. Now this is Baby. 
another bank. And really, okay, now, how are these changing what they look like to you when I put all these colors together? This one now to me is definitely pink. Where this one, huh, maybe not. <laughs> and this one, well, peach with pink. And then the pink part that was in here. And this, to me, is like a cool pink. Let's put it on. And by the way, the reason I'm telling you all this is there were no descriptions at all. They didn't say cool pink, warm pink. Luckily, even though I'm using a wipe to clean my lips, it's really moisturizing and protective feeling, so I'm not going to be too unhappy with my lips. And yeah, so those are the lip twists, the five lip twists that I have. Baby. Nude. Peach. Candy. Sheer Blossom. And On the Hands. It's on the hands, I feel like I have a nice kind of progression, but I would say 100%. These colors lie in the spring-summer life. Now we're going to do the lipsticks. The Feta Rouge lipsticks, I love these. I love the packaging, and I'm not actually huge on animal print. S, and I love... Everybody needs to do this. Put the color and the name big enough so you can see it, but the color so... Even if you can't see it, you know, you have an idea of what you're going for. This is Beige Bali. And it's a little bit warm. I don't want to break my bullet. And I do love these bullets, you guys. Look how amazing these bullets are. Perfect. In a way, you could say that this is a beige out orange or a beige with a lot of warmth to it, but it's a beautiful shade, such a comfortable formula. Light, but creamy. It really does feel moisturizing on the lip. Beige Molly. This is Beige Eldorado, and you can see the beige doesn't mean it's a nude, although this could be a nude on somebody, but this is a deep, beautiful color. It may not be your thing in spring, yeah, fine. but I love the undertone of this. Sometimes these kinds of colors have too much purple in them and can be very deadening on my skin tone and on many skin tones actually, but I just don't think it has a purplish. I think if anything, it might have a bit of a red undertone and not much blue either. So it can be super, super flattering and a lot of skin tones. Beige Eldorado. And you know what, with this, you could also, just take some off. And give yourself a little bit more of a stain instead of wearing it super opaquely. Much, much softer, I think. And you could also, um, this is actually pretty common. I don't have one in front of me, let me get one. I'd actually much rather do this with this inside a brush, but I just did another video and all the stuff is on top of the box where I have my synthetic. But going with a dense brush, and this is not as dense as I would want either. And then just clean up around the edges and it gives you more of a soft look so it doesn't look like a hard lipstick when you have soft and edges, but you don't want it all over your face. So just kind of go in with your concealer brush. Help shape it a teeny, teeny bit, but not too much. Beige Eldorado, and softer. I'm just going to take a teeny bit of concealer onto my lips because they're starting to get more color on them. I know, it doesn't look like a teeny bit, right? Clearly nobody has lips quite this color. Well, except it maybe in the morning. Now some of these don't have the names, just the numbers. This is number 31. 
Ooh, look at that. Do you love an orange lip? And see how the cut of this bullet really helps me get the shape I want. This is a summer color, you guys. I know it looks super bright here, but when I put it on, I'm like, that's not, that's not a hard thing to do at all. Number 31. Number 23. I know it looks like a lot. I love these kinds of colors, though. For some reason, my complexion can take these kind of colors. Again, looks a little much here, but here on the face, I really don't think it is. And I'm not wearing any blush today, <laughs> um, but it kind of works. I could put this <laughs> right here. Look at that. And I think I'm more tan skin even better. I love to wear colors like this, especially in the summer. 23. And I'm not going to put concealer on my lips for this one because the color is similar, but not. This is Rose Mexico. So it's a little bit deeper. This one has more brightness to it. And this has, I think, more impact. Make sure you're bullets aren't too high. Rose Mexico. Yeah, it just has a little bit more impact. They're, they look very different, I think, on the skin. And in fact, if you're somebody who's thinking, I want to get a punchy pink color, maybe this color dead on you and this color bam on you, or the opposite, bam, dead. Everybody's skin tone really helps to determine what colors pop. You know when you have a color on that makes you happy and it works with your skin tone. You can just tell. It's like, yep, where if it's not, it's like, yeah, it's okay. It's not because the color isn't good. It's just because it's not good for you. But I like both of these. And you guys, that's going to be it. That's my little lip swatch party of my lipsticks and my lip twists. And I forgot what these are called. Shines from Sissy Paris. Thanks for joining me. I hope you come back again. Mwah. Beige Molly. Beige Eldorado. Beige Eldorado, softer. Number 31. 23.